Hi everyone, I'm so glad that you decided to come back. Today I'm really, really excited because I am testing new products from Flower Beauty. I have to confess that I only have or had one product from Flower Beauty and that is their setting spray. I just, I don't know, the Flower Beauty, I like it, I saw it at Walmart, but it was a little bit pricey and um, it is a little bit pricey. Well, some things, but um, I looked at it at Walmart and I always thought, well, I don't know, those things I can find in another brand for less. And I was just never attracted to the Flower Beauty section until this line came out. And we're talking today about the Light Illusion line that just uh, released at Ulta. And I bought it and received it at day or two ago and I thought I'd do a first thoughts or first impressions. I don't like doing first impressions very much without follow-up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a first impressions today, what I thought, this is the makeup I'm wearing today and um, I'm just going to show you the different steps that I did to get this and my thoughts, my first impressions on it and then I am going to wear this, um, not this exact makeup, but I'm going to wear the makeup for the week and I'm going to come back next week and film my review and my final thoughts on these products and that then will be up next week. Um, so I hope you enjoy and let's make up. Okay, so like I said, I have this new line from Flower Beauty. It's called A Light Illusion. I got the foundation, the concealer, the primer, um, the setting powder. Um, what else did I get? I got the eyeliner and the brow pencil. Um, Flower Beauty is um, owned by Drew Barrymore and it is sold at Walmart. And it is on the little bit higher end of the drugstore pricing. I tried one BB cream from Flower Beauty that I really did not like. I will link a video up here in which I, I'm talking about this BB cream. It was too light for me. I didn't like the applicator. Anyway, you can go watch that video. So let's start from the beginning and let's start with primer. I got the primer. It is called uh, Flower In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. I gotta give it to packaging. The, oh, this is backwards. <laughs> Let me do it the right way. Oh my gosh. There it is. Okay. Um, I got to give it to packaging, guys. The packaging is totally beautiful. I love this um, kind of gold plate that says Flower Beauty, or not Flower Beauty, it says Flower. And I, it's a squeezy tube and I like it. You get here um, the standard one fluid ounce and it says to smooth and blur, to smooth and blur, uh, longer lasting makeup, uh, wear and lightweight. I do have to agree with that claim. It is lightweight. It feels a little bit, um, lotiony and so, oh, sorry, my, my phone went off. It feels a little bit lotiony, but it disappears real quick. And the first three ingredients in this, um, in this primer are water and then something that I don't know how to pronounce, so I will put it on the on the screen and then the methicone. And so that second ingredient that I have no idea how to, um, you know, pronounce because it's a long scientifically name. It is a, a hair conditioning agent. It is a skin conditioning agent. It is emollient and it is used for skin conditioning. The first ingredient, of course, is water and then the dimethicone and those are all very hydrating ingredients. I did feel that it is hydrating. It is not super tacky and it did blur uh, some of my pores that I have here. I don't think that is the very first use for this, but my first impressions were that, that it is hydrating and that uh, my foundation went good on top of it. So we'll see how that works. Okay, the second thing I got is the Flower Beauty Foundation, the Light Illusion Foundation. Again, I have got to give it to packaging. It is super, super pretty. However, my, my letters are already fading. I don't know about that. It says to it is it is said to be an all day wear uh, broad spectrum SPF of 18 uh, sunscreen. It is really rubbing off, and this is like super new. I just used it today, so I don't know what that is all about. Okay, I got it. it says that it is a luminous makeup, nude skin feel. Let me tell you about my first impressions on that in just a minute. You get the standard one fluid ounce, and I got it in soft. Sand um, M2 or medium 2. I think I should have gotten it in the one that comes before that. Um, 
Let me see what it was. Let me see what it was. Um, I should have gotten it in M1 Natural Beige because this one, I like my face to look a little bit, not brighter than my body, but there is, when you see it in real person, there is a difference between my face and my neck. It's ever so slightly, but I think that the M1 Natural Beige would have, lo would have looked a lot better on me, but this one worked, this one worked. Okay, so on application, it, when I went on, it was a little bit yellow. It was, I don't know, it just, it was a little bit yellow. I, I was scared there for a little bit. So I kept going and it blended in. It looked a little bit on the orangey side. So that's why I think I should have gotten it in natural beige. So if you're up about my skin tone, I'm usually light medium. Um, I have very warm undertones, um, yellow undertones. And so I think I should have gotten it in natural beige. Okay. Moving on from that, this says to be a light illusion foundation. It's a perfect, perfecting veil of buildable coverage. Light illusion is a breakthrough foundation that achieves the impossible. That's a big claim. Um, provides you with the coverage you, desires, uh, you desire to smooth and perfect while imparting your skin with the most flattering, soft luminosity imaginable. I do agree with that. It is luminous. When you first put it on, you do have this fresh look to your face. So I did like that part. It is, um, for me, it's, it's full coverage. Um, I don't know if you have a lot of um, blemishes to, or acne or scarring or things like that to cover. I think you can build it up to a, to a full coverage, but it is pretty full coverage. For me, it covered everything. <laughs> um, and then it says that it is a weightless nude skin feel and imperfections and imperfections and uneven skin tone are diminished, which I agree with that on my first impression. Only a flawless, smooth, and incredibly natural complexion is revealed. Um, incredibly natural, I don't know, it's foundation. So I'm gonna have to test it through the week and see about the, the you know, that claim that it is, um, you know, incredibly natural. Um, I It did set down and that takes me to my next point. Let me talk a little bit about the ingredients for this one. Um, the ingredients for this foundation, the first three are, uh, I'm not going to even try to pronounce these, but the first ingredient is the sun, sunscreen. I'm gonna put them on the screen, 5%. The ingredients that are inactive, the first one is water and uh, butylene glycol. And so it is one of those very emollient, creamy, not runny at all, creamy, um, foundations so I'm gonna keep trying it for now my very first impression I really like it I'm gonna see how it wears it is 11 15 and I put this makeup on at 10 30 so it's been about 45 minutes and it looks flawless I really really like it so let me go to my next um, my next product and it is the light illusion uh, perfecting powder again this is another powder that I should have bought it in the um, lightest it comes in porcelain, and then I got beige, and the next one is caramel, and the last one is sable. The shade range on this is not super, you know, great. I should have talked about the shade range on the foundation as well. Um, anyway, I got it in beige, and again, I think it was a little bit dark. Um, however, when I put this one on, it feels so soft, finely milled. It's, it is going to give you a little bit of a tint. It is going to give you a little bit of more coverage. It is not super like translucent. It's not. It's beige. Um, if I had gotten this in porcelain, then I would have been okay with this foundation in soft beige because I would have been able to lighten it. However, because I got these in darker than me shades, um, it turned out to be just on the verge of being too dark, just on the verge. However, I do, my first impressions on this powder, I like it. When I dusted it on with my, of course, powder brush, um, it did not take the luminosity out of the foundation. So if you can see on my forehead, it is still luminous. It is still looking bright. So this is not a mattifying powder. My first impression is not a mighty fine powder, um, but it feels good on the skin. It did cover, it didn't cover, it gave me, it gave me a little bit more to the foundation. Um, it says that it is um, an innovative uh, pressed powder 
and it, sorry, let me go back. It brings Flower Beauty's soft focus innovation to a pressed powder form. Flower Beauty's next generation blurring pigments impart the luminous ambient glow with medium buildable coverage for ultimate perfecting. So yes, I was right. It does have a buildable um, coverage for perfecting. And I do agree with that claim as of my first impressions. I do agree with that claim. Um, it has blurring pigments. You know what? I hadn't read this before I put it on, but I have to agree with that. It does have blurring um, capability. So my first impression of this powder is good. Okay, um, concealer. Oh, I should have done the concealer after the foundation, shouldn't I? Crazy, craziness. Okay, the concealer. Again, packaging super adorable. It reminds me of the NARS Radiant, um, what's it called? Creamy Radiant, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, the Radiant concealer from NARS. It reminds me of that packaging. It, it is the, um, you know, the doe foot applicator. Um, it is a little bit slanted, so I like that because you can get right in there. Again, I don't know what I was thinking with this color. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know what I was thinking, but I did get it. Where's my packaging? I just opened it and I lost it. Anyways, I got this in um, Medium Honey. Really imagine, hello. I got this in Medium Honey and um, it is just right for my under eye. However, I do like a brighter under eye. So I have to go ahead and I use my, my Essence Brighten Up Powder to brighten that a little bit. However, this application went so, so pretty. When I blended it in with my sponge, I always use a sponge to blend in the concealer. It looked so, so good. It still looks so, so, so good. My first impressions of this is yes. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm going to keep using it during the week, like I said, and I'll come back with my final thoughts, especially because I've only worn this makeup for like 50 minutes, so I can't give you a really, I love this, you know, but uh, this is $9.99, and I should have given you the prices, but I'll put them on the screen. Um, this this is $9.99, and I think I should have bought it in light medium, again, because I like a brighter under eye, but so far, so good. Um, this, this concealer I am really liking. It says that it is a soft focus blurring concealer with a high performance coverage, which I have to agree. My dark circles are real and this covered covered it. They it, it did. This weightless concealer, um, weightless? Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Um, provides dark circle diffusing illumination with Flower Beauty's exclusive blurring pigments. I have to agree with that. However, because I tried uh, setting it with this and it didn't work because it is dark. Not because it not because it crinkled it or looked wrinkly or anything like that. It didn't dry it out. I have really, really dry under eyes and the powder under my eyes did not dry my, they didn't dry it, did, I can't talk. <laughs> they didn't dry them out more. Um, it doesn't look horrible under my eyes at all. If I had had it in a lighter color, uh, like porcelain, I would have set my under eye with this. Um, but I had to go in with my Brighten Up powder from Essence, so I have I put more powder than I usually do. I don't bake or anything like that because of my dry under eye. So yes, I have to agree with the claim that it is lightweight. I just had to put a lot of powder because I was drying things out. Um, the formula does double duty to calm and reduce puffiness. I'm gonna try to test that over the week because I don't have a lot of puffiness, but um, I want to see that calm effect. Um, hmm, I'm gonna have to see and get, and get back with you on that with an infusion aloe and chamomile extract. I really like that, especially because under the eye is so important that we take care of that area. Um, and aloe is known for calming and soothing. Okay, an added boost of caffeine, which is good for firming, it says, firms up and gives targeted areas a boost of antioxidants. So I am really liking this concealer. I think it's one of the things, if not the thing that I've liked the most. Okay. I have two more products to put. I just lost my product, I'll be right back. And I'm back with my product. <laughs> okay, um, I bought the, um, what is this? This is the eyebrow pencil, and I bought it in Brunette, EP2. They give it like these weird denominations, but it is an EP2 uh, Brunette, and I thought it's going to be a little bit light for my eyebrows, but it actually worked really, really well. Um, the spoolie is, it reminds me of that new Maybelline eyebrow pencil, um, but the Maybelline one is like chubby and shorter. This one is not super long, it's not, it's like medium sized, and I really like it. It's soft, but not so soft. It really brushes and softens out and blends your 
um, the pigment. The point of this is I used it so I, you know, it's, it's gone now, but it's pointy and it, um, it's creamy. It's really creamy and I'm, I'll put a swatch on there. Um, it's not waxy, it is creamy. And it is just perfect. It's not too creamy that will spread all over and you know it's gonna melt on your face. It's not, I don't think it's not. So let me try it during the, the week and, and I'll see. But when I try to diffuse it in my hand, it really doesn't move in a way that is just too creamy that is going to melt all over your face. So I think this is a really good and my first impressions on this pencil is that it's, it's good. Um, again, it's standard packaging, and I'm gonna have to get back to you on the on the pencil. For now, I think it's really good. Okay, my last product, which I did not like. That's my first impressions on it. That's my first impressions on it. Let's see what happens in a week. Okay, I got the Style Eyes Liquid Eyeliner in black, or actually Onyx, Onyx Ink. Um, and this is SE1. That's the denomination that they gave it. Okay, this liner. Oh my gosh. Okay, things I like about this liner. It is super matte. It is super matte. It dries down matte and I love that. Um, I like the packaging. It's standard packaging. Um, one thing, what I don't like. I don't like the applicator. It is one of these stiff applicators. Let me see if I can see it or just insert. It is one of those stiff applicators. Um, it's not a brush, it's not a felt tip, it's just a stiff, foamy applicator. It's so hard to do that little flick with this, and then when you set it down, it dries quick. So I had a little smudge here that I had to fix with some shadow. Um, it did the job, but it has a learning curve. So I'm gonna keep using it this week and I'm gonna see how it works. But for now, it's one of the, what I don't like about it is the applicator. It's, it has a learning curve. So we'll see how it works this week. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I will come back in a week to tell you all about my last impressions and my review on these new products. I hope you enjoyed and remember to stay Stay joyfully beautiful. Bye bye. I, I, I feel it good. We're bringing this.